why oh why do I subject myself to these things? That's a good question, but I'm going to review ARC, the animated series. I can't believe I actually watched this thing. So let's start with a question, friends. <laughs> Why? Who? Who is this made for? Who is going to watch this besides me? Because I had morbid curiosity for what was going on here. I, I, I do. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm the man you may know as a from our reviews will kill you. And I am the guy who reviews things that no one else will watch. And I just subject myself to the absolute worst things ever i'm a big fan of the game arc um it's a lot of fun it's an open so for those of you who don't know arc is an open sandbox game you start off as a like survivor you can completely customize your character to look as ridiculous as humanly possible barely even looking like a human you you start off on a beach on an island you have a little diamond thing in your arm and you go punch trees and you build huts and you tame dinosaurs, and you ride dinosaurs. And as far as I remember, the game didn't have a plot. Now, if I do remember correctly, the game had some kind of a plot because there were, like, writings of things that happened and, and stuff, and there's wars and battle. And, like, I'm like, yeah, I don't care. I want to I want to ride dinosaurs. I want to make the coolest things ever. I made an Ewok village, and I kid you not, when I made, like, it was enormous. It would stretch from giant... Oh, redwood tree to giant redwood tree. It was like, and across a, 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 a small bay. And then I had a dragon breeding pen. And I would breed Tyrannosaurus Rexes. This game was great. I had so much fun with this game. And then I heard there was an animated series. And we all hear that there's going to be an arc too. <laughs> but then I watched it. And now I go, do I really care about arc anymore? I don't know. There were some really good Easter eggs for fan, like diehard fans are going to be like, oh, that's really cool. They use the, the, the dinosaur in that way. Essentially, think of it this way. It's like dinosaurs, but like they're not, um, they don't, they don't hold true to like any scientific fact. Like there's going to be dinosaurs that were millions of years apart. There might be saber tooth tigers with Tyrannosaurus rexes. They, they don't belong together, but y'all get along on this island and you find a way to survive. But this show <laughs> takes the cake of, like, I cannot think of the, anything more woke is not humanly possible. It is not possible to be any more woke than this show. It's it's just impossible. And I tried so hard to enjoy it, and I just could not get past it. I did finish it, though. So I am not one of those reviewers that will review something and not watch it all the way to the end. I watched every single second so I can bring you every gory detail good lord oh lord have mercy anyway um yeah so be sure to like and subscribe i mean i can't keep this going if you guys don't do that and you know we love youtube here it's amazing we also love rumble we love itunes all those things but let's just get into it like and subscribe i truly appreciate it it helps me ease the pain of the torture here so, Ark, the animated series, I know I'm a little late to this, was dropped on March 21st. I was kind of just holding it off. And if you watch my short on this thing, <laughs> everything is blurry because they filmed it that way. Everything is this weird, like, blurry sheen on it, and I don't really understand why. But and when you hear the names attached to this, you will not believe it. Ark, the animated series, starring Michelle Yeoh, Russell Crowe, Gerard Butler, Vin Diesel, and more in a surprise drop. There are so many... <laughs> people in this it's like what 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 uh it dropped exclusively on paramount plus in the u.s and canada and it will debut in all other paramount paramount plus international markets april 19th seven episode part two of the season will be released at a later date so they already filmed season one and two so so you're gonna get it it doesn't matter it was first announced with a trailer at the 2020 Video Game Awards, so it's been some years in the making. It's animated. Why did it take so long? David Tennant is in it. Jeffrey Wright is in it. Elliot Page is in it. 
Madeline Madden is in it. Vin Diesel's in this. Is bananas. How many people are in it? And it is so god awful. Like, I just, it makes me want to, it makes me want to cry. I can't even take it. So let's look at what some of the reactions are. Well, why don't we go to Rotten Tomatoes just to give an idea of what's going on here. Rotten Tomatoes, no reviewers because they don't care, and I'm the first and only one to review it. There you go. First professional reviewer to do it. Yes, I get paid for this, folks. And 52% on the audience score. 52%, really? Following survivor Helena Walker after her initial awakening on the island. Yes, that's right. And no, no, well, let's see what, what the audience has to say. I am kind of curious. What is, is there any audience reviews? I'm sure there's people saying something somewhere. Um, I did see that on Reddit. Some people were like, oh, how is the show? Not good. Not good at all. As I described it in my, um, in, in my very brief, like what it is in a nutshell, Ark is. So so here you have the, th this woman, and she's a um, Aboriginal descendant in Australia from the twenty somethingth century. She's a paleontologist, Scientologist who she knows one thing, and she says something about the, the essentially that evolution, as Charles Darwin described it, is not the only solution. There, there's something you can transfer through DNA somehow. Okay, like, I don't know what she's talking about, but there's some sort of techno babble. She wakes up on this island, and then you, you get all these flashbacks. And it's so weird because the pacing on it is terrible be because there's so many flashbacks back to everybody's lives because every character has their own little flashback. But the internal consistency of the plot is so inconsistent, you're just like, what is going on here? Anyway, we, we go and we follow her story. We find out that she uh, was raised by her mom, who is an activist for the BLM movement in Australia, mind you. Always here, always there, always here with you, dear, is I think their slogan, perhaps. I'm probably wrong. There's a bunch of uh, evil white people who are trying to stop her mom, but no, not really. Anyway, her mom's an activist, doesn't have a real job. She doesn't know her dad, and there's no mention of her dad. It, but she doesn't want to be an activist. She wants to be a scientist. Good on her. Then she meets the woman of her dreams. And they have that. Why is Elliot Page playing her lesbian girlfriend? I do not know the answer to that, folks. I am so confused. And if you're confused, you can let me know. But Elliot Page plays the voice of the main character's le like <laughs> lesbian girlfriend. Who dies? She dies. How she ends up on the island, no one knows. So you're following her. She's on this island, and she meets some, like, Roman legionnaire. Like, everybody's on the island is from different times. Nobody knows how they got there. They don't even bother to explain any of this in the first season. There's people from, like, the 1800s, from, like, 1000 AD, from the Roman Empire, from, from American Indians, because they are the bestest. The American Indian part, is, that guy's the best. I mean, because he's an American Indian, and he should be respected because he's the best. It's so diverse. I don't... The only white guy... There's only two white guys. No, there's three white guys in it. Two of them are evil, and one of them is a dumb... Is a dope from World War II who is... Uh, and spoilers, because no one cares. No one else watched this except for me. Is immediately killed. And and the thing that's so weird about it is there's these like flashbacks, and like we talk about our fifis and, and how we got here, and how we feel about things, punctuated by horrific violence. Like... The most graphic animated violence I think I've seen in like people literally getting torn to pieces by dinosaurs, people getting their heads cut off, people having arrows shot through their faces. It's horrific, the violence, which is fine for the game, but in a story where they're talking, they're literally have activists, the BLM activists, and then all of a sudden somebody gets their face cut off. It's just like, 
what is what is going on here? There's uh, Michelle Yell plays a Chinese woman who's very upset because she's strong whammon and strong whammon doesn't get the recognition that strong whammon deserves back in like some dynasty, you know, maybe 1600 uh, Japan. No, is she Japanese or Chinese? Not sure. But either way, she doesn't get the des the the respect that she deserves as a warrior whammon. Every strong, you know, almost all the strong characters are whammons. Um, the dinosaurs are totally secondary. Uh, they do have a cool part. Like, there's cool parts with, like, Megalania and, you know, because he can crawl on the ceiling and he does something cool. And there's, like, some T-Rexes and there's super secret uh, Gigantosaurus. There's all, I, I, I guess I liked all that. I, Gerard Butler plays this evil um, warlord, Roman emperor, whatever. The funny, I just want to point that I, I I don't I want to don't want to belabor the point here because I feel like I've been talking too long about a show that I, only I watched, no one else watched. Is that at some point the whole point of of arc is like you're put on this island and there's like these ancient artifacts and and you can like upgrade your technology from like the Stone Age and you just keep getting higher and higher technology until you figure out like oh yeah there's like space like stuff like you can eventually when I when I was in the game. I had jetpacks and I could fly and I had a spaceship and I could fly around the spaceship and collect dinosaurs and do all sorts of things and shoot missiles and lasers and laser swords and all sorts of cool stuff. Well, in this, they discover technology where they have like a uh, futuristic sniper rifle gun thing. They never use it. There's like 50 chances for them to use it and, and win whatever they're trying to accomplish and they just don't use it. It's like... Yo, you have a sniper rifle. Just use it. And and they don't explain. The guy just runs out of ammo for some reason. They don't explain it. Like, what? it's a laser gun. I have no idea. How does it run out of ammo? Does it take coal? Like Zack Snyder would say in Rebel Moon. Does it take... It doesn't take bullets because they never load any bullets in it. They don't explain anything. And normally, I wouldn't care because it's a cartoon. And I would just allow it. But it's not a kid's cartoon. It's an adult cartoon. And you want me to think about this thing because I've played the video game and none of this makes sense. I don't understand. Obviously, you didn't watch it, but I watched it. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you would watch it because I don't recommend it. You're going to be sad. You're going to wish there were more dinosaurs. And uh, you're going to be, yeah, this is not a good time for anyone. Uh, if you're a giant fan of this, please explain why. Because I don't understand. I read something on Reddit where they're like, I am the amazing attention to detail. Except for the plot. You don't pay any attention to the plot. And, and you know, strong woman just gets super strong. She could do flips and whatever, man. I, I can't explain it. I just, I couldn't help but rant about this. It drove me insane. I watched all of it, and I am, I feel, I, I just, I don't know how I feel about this, but I don't feel good, that's for sure. Anyway, catch our full-length audio podcast. It's on iTunes. You can also catch here our, uh, our reviews will kill you. We live stream Friday night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Like and subscribe. Catch it on Rumble. We do appreciate the support. We need it. It allows us to keep Ranting like maniacs, because that's what we do here. But as for myself, I'm on to the next one.